Hello Accounting Solution SA student. So into this video, we are going to do a revision under creditors reconciliation a statement. Remember guys, when we deal with creditors reconciliation statement, uh, you are going to face this when you write your paper 2 in your final examination. You have to take note that reconciliation is part of paper 2. So please make sure that you stay tuned Watch until the end so that you're going to get all marks in this question because this is one of the simplest questions that you're going to get in accounting. I'm going to simplify for you so that you will be ready when you write your paper too. All right. So it was question six uh, on this guide. All right. A creditor's reconciliation. They said, like, do traders buy goods on credit? from an army supplier so our business is called ladu ladu will be our books ladu creditors ledger simple means that our own book remember creditors reconciliation guys is between us and the supplier us and supplier and when we prepare creditors reconciliation guys if we have two supplier each supplier must have or its own what creditors reconciliation so the one that we are preparing now is between us Lado, and our supplier which is called anami okay it's called anami our supplier all right guys when we purchase a good to this supplier on credit that's why we call them a creditors we have to make sure that whatever that we record this side must be the same with this side guys it's like when we are saying that we went today and buy 500 goods even when they record they must record that we have came and recorded 500 we recorded and they recorded but now the problem that arise that make us to prepare this is because at some point instead of recording 500 Mona they record 5000 which means that we have to do what? Reconciliation. Reconciliation simply means that to correct mistake. That's kind of mistake that can happen on creditors. We have to rectify this by doing what? Reversing 4.5 so that this side can left with 500 and this side is 500. That's where we can say that now our creditors reconciliation has balanced just like that. All right. Now let's go through uh the required number one use the table in the answer book is this one they give us answer book and they say we have to indicate by plus or minus to show that we are subtracting or we are adding under affected book is either here or here okay information number a balances they said account of an army supplier in the creditors ledger of lado traders in our books we have amount of 95 95,160 that's the first balance that we have okay but on our statement of supplier it was 143 there is something wrong guys they were supposed to be the same amount here that's why we're preparing the constellation because this one is not the same with this one is not corresponding which means that we must do a reconciliation okay number b they give us errors that happen and omission that that was discovered all right maybe before that let me explain why they write a credit and a debit when it comes to our books the credit side is indicating that we have liability because liability increase on the credit side in our books but supply statement do opposite which means that the debit side uh, is the same as the credit side on this other side which means that even on the books of supplier we have liability of 143 because on under supplier statement our liability increase on the debit but on our side increase on the credit they do versa versa this statement all right errors and omission discovered during an investigation an invoice for 
26,000 received from an army supplier was recorded correctly by Ladu traders. Okay. Here what happened is that, guys. Invoice is when us we purchase on credit and we receive invoice that we purchase on credit. Now we owe more. They say that this amount uh, received from an army it was recorded correctly by our business, which means that this side is correct. Nothing to rectify. But they say that the statement on our supply side, it has a reflected amount of 20,600. Guys, instead of recording that we owe them 26,000, they recorded that we owe them 20,600. We have to go and increase liability so that it can go to what? To 26,000. How do we do that? Calculate the different. 26,000 minus 20,600 uh, is going to give us amount of uh, 5,400. Why are we saying plus? Guys, because they recorded that we owe less amount and we owe more. Then we have to increase it so that it can be the same amount as we owe. Okay. Number two. Very simple. Two marks to do that. Just imagine. Okay. The second one. Ladu traders had correctly recorded discount. Ladu correctly recorded. It's fine. Okay. Then they said a discount is 820 for early payment. They said this did not appear in the statement. This was never recorded in the statement. And remember discount reduce what? Liability. Which means that we have to say minus it went. Guys, if they give us discount, we are not going to pay that amount, which means that our liability must go down. Just like that. Very simple statement. Okay, I hope you are busy subscribing now. Because I know that these two, I kill it for you. Alright. Number three. The statement reflected interest of 1,214 on overdue balance. And the anami supplier acknowledged that an error had been made. Okay. Who did mistake here? It's our supplier. Supplier has acknowledged that it was a mistake. This interest that they charge us, they were not supposed to charge it. Which means that we have to go and cancel that overdue. When, you, they, when they charge us interest of overdue, guys, they were increasing liability. And it was wrong. And now they acknowledge that it was a mistake. We must rectify that. This side, there was no problem. We must rectify what they charge us, which is 1,240, just like that. We have to subtract because they added it and it was increasing liability. Now we are subtracting to show that no liability uh, by Nadu, our business. Okay. Number uh, four, a debit note. A debit note and credit note, just know that something was returned, was returned back. Okay. A debit note for 1,520 issued to Amanda LTD was incorrectly recorded in the account of an army supplier by Ladu Traders. Okay. What, 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 what actually happened here? Uh, there was a note which was returned uh, to Amanda LTD. Do we have Amanda here? No, we don't have Amanda. What does Amanda do in this reconciliation? Third part is not allowed. Like I said in the beginning that the reconciliation must be between two suppliers. This Amanda must not be involved in this uh, business of these two. Which means that we have to go and cancel uh, this debit note. Remember guys, a debit note is a return. Return reduce what? Reduce liability. We, we actually reduced liability in our books. But that return was not, was not supposed to be between this uh, supplier. Between these two. Because it's another one. It's the third part. That return we must add it back. We must add it back. We were not supposed to subtract it because it's for the third party. 
is for the third party. If we want to prepare reconciliation, we must prepare of Ladu and Amanda. This one is for Ladu and Anami. That's why we add it back. Why adding it back? Because it was subtracted because it is written. Okay. I know that you understand it very well. Okay. The next one. Number five. Number five. A credit note of 2,440 received from an army supplier for the goods return was incorrectly recorded as invoice. Hey. Here they did a mistake, guys. Uh, in our books, there is a mistake. Instead of recording re written, instead of subtracting, we ended as if we purchased because invoice simply means said we purchased. So we were supposed to record a written. Rene, we increase what liability, which is very wrong. What do we do in this case? We must record it twice. The first one to correct, and the second one to record. Okay, how much amount? 2,440. Which means that the first one, we must first cancel uh, what we added of 2,440. And again, we subtract our debit note that was supposed to be subtracted. 2,440, which this one in total is going to give you minus 4... 880 just like that here there was no any issue okay uh, let's go to the next one an invoice of 47,000 was reflected on the statement from an army supplier but not recorded by Lado invoice of 47,500 uh, it was reflected on the statement of our supplier it was okay this side but in our books we never recorded what do we do we record invoice is purchased we increase liability and it must be plus plus 47,500 just like that invoice is purchased on credit and when we purchase on credit we are increasing liability when we increase liability Statement will show plus. Even if it was this side, it was going to show plus. Very simple. You will never get a simple explanation like this under Accounting Solution SA. Okay, the last one. Now you are about to kill it. Um, a payment of 7,500 by Lado traders on, on uh, 27 August 2018 was recorded in the creditor's ledger account of an army supplier. What is the issue here? A payment of 7,500 by Ladu Trader. Uh, we made a payment, but our supplier recorded it under creditor's ledger account in their books. They were not supposed to record in their books. They have to record in our statement. This one. Statement of an army. That's why they were supposed to record. Now we have to do what? To rectify? To simply record here. The amount of 7,500. This is payment. When we pay, we reduce liability. Very simple. Now it's done. What do we do next? We must calculate total this side. And see if we're going to get the same total this side. Remember here guys. If you say the minus 244, you also have to say minus 244. Or you simply say you add everything and you subtract this total. Don't do this and you do this one again. You will never get it right. Okay. So total this side, you're going to get 139,300. This side, 139,300. That's how you do it, guys. So I hope you learned something, guys. You know, since beginning of the year, I just realized that people who are watching on this channel, only 10% of them, they subscribe in this channel. The rest, almost 89%, they didn't subscribe. For which reason? You will never know. But they are keep learning, which is not good on our side, guys. The more you subscribe, when the channel is growing, it keeps us increasing 
more videos more videos but if subscribers are lacking guys uh, is discouragement to continue recording more videos so guys to subscribe is very free of charge it's like doing a following you are following a, a, a channel so let's make sure that we subscribe so for those who want to join extra class guys uh, they are still available uh, just make sure that you join in time only 100 rand per month and you attend twice each and every week so that you can be ready when you write your final examination so i hope you enjoy and i'm gonna see you